hands behind your back or you're gonna get tased. Both hands behind your back. In the sphere of law enforcement, the unexpected often unfolds, revealing the complex interplay between individuals and authority. Stand over there. You just let me handcuffs. Stand over there. No, no, no. You want me to chase you right now? From violent altercations to calculated thefts, these incidents shed light on the myriad challenges law enforcement officers face in their daily duties. Here are some incidents where Crazy Karen make it 1,000 times worse. Yep. Turn around real quick. Turn around the incident revolved around a woman on the 24th of August, 2023, in Rio Rancho Sandoval County, New Mexico. The officers responded to a call reporting a fight between two women in a parking lot. Upon listening to it, the police responded quickly and arrived to inspect. Upon reaching the location, the police approached the victim and learned the details of the distressing occasion. They were literally shocked after listening to the event. The arrogance and dissent of the woman surpassed the fancy of everyone one can't help but wonder what was going through her mind. Was she under the influence? Uh, so what happened? I just was simply oh, trying to, to explain something because she's working Was right she the now. one involved? It was both of us. Okay. So she, the lady came up and she had parked her van super crooked, which we got pictures of and everything. Okay. And she had- and that's all I was trying to take photos of. Okay. She swung her door open and hit her mirror. So all we were doing was taking pictures of it. So she swung her door open. Yeah, and, and, and all I was gonna do was so contact all we did you was all take pictures. you guys to make reports. That's okay. it. And she saw us taking pictures. She came out and she started to call her white <laughs> and get super mad. <laughs> Well, okay. I was recording it and then she was trying to record it as well. And in that process, while she was holding her son, went after she her, shoved, took her phone. She me, took off with my So phone. I took him and then she got in her van with the phone. And in the process of her trying to get it back, she bit her. She bit okay. the f my hand, slammed her door and continuously to, yeah. into my car over and over again against my mirror and into my car. And then slammed her door and tried to run me over in the process of trying to take off while her door was open. I was in between her open door and my car. Okay. No, it's all right. We already have we already have pictures. It's okay. We already have pictures of it beforehand. It's fine. Because you clearly didn't do anything wrong. Don't pull that race card. Yeah, you want to call her white trash again? Go ahead. Oh. Okay. So if you have no problem, pull out of the parking lot. Goodbye. Don't tell me what to do. Get out of here. Because you damaged my car. I know you're. Your car is perfectly fine. There's car. pictures because now because she also just watched it. She just wiped yeah, it off. And then it touches. It doesn't hit it. Yes, it does. Get you're hitting it. No, I'm calling you off. It's okay. Very cool. You're hitting it. Well, if you're not concerned, then why are you standing here having a fight about it if you're not worried? It's all right. The library has recording. I've got photos of how she thinks it's okay to double the car. She's oh, perfect. She's perfectly fine. What if she had to take her son out on that side of the cart? How do you expect her to get her child out if you're parked that close? She signs the closet, you call. So she has, she knows that she's supposed to be parking correctly. If she's not, and she's hitting my car and she thinks it's okay. So she will be contact, I will be contacting you, Holland. She'll be liable for damages. It's fine. And again, if her son was on that side of the car, how do you expect people to take too. their kids out of the car when you're parking like that? I have three children. What if I had to get my daughters out on that side? I can't because you're just parking like a She doesn't care. She's too busy no, standing here doesn't. calling people white I got all day. It's fine. I got nowhere to be right now. Put you in the shade though. Huh. Yeah, put you in the shade. Oh, God. Call me white trash. Let's figure out what you are. Mm -hmm. So funny how other races can pull the race card, but the second we do no, but it. Look, she thinks this is okay. It's fine. All I have to do is tell you how she is not parking properly. Oh and that's it. And there are two women harassing me. Oh, yeah. We're harassing you for defending the fact that you hit a car. We're not. We're, you can mind the up and leave. I want you to leave. And they're like threatening that they hit their car, which is totally threatening. Corrupt. How is that threatening? So no, we're making a statement that you hit the car. To just double check on this. It's all right. It's going to be like four hours. So. That's okay. I'm standing here recording. The whole thing was from the beginning. Pretty sure I got white on the video too. So yeah, if we want to talk about harassment. I'm going to let the officer know too. She is more than welcome to leave. She can yep. leave this entire time. I was not blocking her. I also have her. it on video that we asked her to leave. And we're not blocking yeah, her. She can leave. Is. She's been able to leave this entire time. Nobody has blocked her in. She is more than welcome to leave and has been able to leave this entire time. Like trying to like 
Mom, Nobody's please. harassing anybody. Mom, Manipulate the situation, but you're going to sit here and say that we're harassing you. But you're sitting here calling names, calling people white, but we're harassing. So funny how people want to twist the situation the second they get on the phone. Pops. So this woman because right I here, here knew, which is not true, and I want to have an officer to. They're getting inside my vehicle. Okay. She's not getting inside of it. Quit crying, wolf. And now she's going to get up in my face. Are you kidding me? Don't hit her. She, she has a kid in her hand. Give me my phone. She has a kid in her hand. You don't my like that. And she shoved me. Give That's me okay. my phone. I got a video. Take. Come here. You're okay, baby. Give me my phone. She's over here attacking my sister with her kid in her hands. Yes, please. Get my phone out of the truck. Where is it? She has it in the van. I can't get my van. My Okay, I can't me. do anything. She's biting me and she took my phone. It's in the van and I can't get it. Are you yes, seriously biting her? Could you seriously bite her? She bit my hand right here. She oh, bit that's my hand. Hand. You Give the me cops. my phone. The cops are already Give calling. me my phone. The rumblings were still happening with no end in sight. Seemingly, the woman was enjoying the scene while the victim continued her rambling. Suddenly, the woman's actions took a sharp turn, inflicting further anguish on the victim. The police engaged the woman to learn about her involvement in the circumstances. My phone is in your back. You just bit me. You bit me. Give me my phone. Give me. Sir, do you see this? She has my phone in her van. All I want is my phone. No. Give me my phone. You already called the cops. Give me my phone. You can go. You can get out of this parking lot. Give me my phone. It's on the floor. It's okay, baby. You're Put okay. the boys in the car and go get my phone. It's on the other side of the van on the floor. It's in the middle. She bit me. Here. This okay, finish recording. You're Here. damaging my car. Continue recording this. Give me my phone! It's on the floor. But you're fine. Finish recording her, so we have proof from the cops. Give me my phone! This took my phone! She bit me! My phone is on the floor of her U-Haul and she's continuing to hit my mirror! Oh, yeah, you're Damaging it! Give me my phone! I and you can get out of here! No, it is right there on the floor! I'm not gonna touch you! Give me my phone! Right it's you're on the floor right, right there by your hand! Give you're me my phone! My Give me my phone! You're hitting my car! There. Give me my phone! Give me my phone and you can get out of this parking lot quicker than any quick! Give me my phone! It's right there on the floor by your stupid hand! Give me my phone! She bit me! Yeah, you were pulling my hair. I'm gonna have the cops. Give me my phone because you stole my phone. You're trying to take off with my phone. You shoved me with my son in my hands and you took off with my phone. I didn't pull your hair until after you bit me. Give me my phone. Are you kidding me? Give me my phone. You're just getting yourself into more trouble. Give me my phone. the police comes. I can't. She has my phone. That is all I want. To get out of this parking lot. Give me my phone. You assaulted me and bit me. This woman right here bit me. She thinks it's okay. Don't know where she's going. Dropped off some books. Thinks it's okay to park right next to my car. Damage my vehicle and bite me. No, you have my phone. Give me my phone. You're not shutting your door until you give me my phone. You're damaging the out of my car. Give me my phone. Let's close in here. No, give me my phone. Don't touch me again. You already bit me. Give me my phone. Give me my phone because you bit me. Quit. You're damaging my car. That's more damages you're paying for, stupid. Yeah, the ascent one bit the white woman. Give After me my phone. Crap. After calling That's me white, <laughs> give me my phone. She's pissed because I got her damage in my car. Give me my phone. See all these damages. She thinks it's okay. After biting me with my son in my hands, shoving me through the parking lot and taking off with my phone, which is now in her U-Haul. 
from Arizona. She bit me. I want DNA tests too, because she's getting charged for this. I'm not okay with that. And she has my phone. She's holding my property, trying to take off with it. Don't touch me. She's gonna take off with my phone in her hand. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's fine, get out of the way. You have got to be kidding me. It's all right, it's on video. You stupid video. It's all right, it's on video. Yeah, can't go anywhere now. Stop, you're gonna get hurt. Move! Move. It's fine. Let her go. She'll get arrested. You're fine. It's fine. Come here. Go stand by the You're fine. Other room. How's it going? Not you mind stepping out real quick? Yes. 130 PD, all there is. You can code one. King Town 8 here, PD. So, what's going on? Do you have your ID on you? Well, ask me questions first. Okay. What was that? Questions first. Okay. Well, I need to identify who you're talking to. Right now, we're in Vic investigating a possible crime. Okay. And so you fit the description, I'll be 1995, it's a U-Haul van, so that's why yeah. they get called out here. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer your question. But well, I need to know what happened. That's why, why I'm, you guys are here talking to me. Why right we're now. here? Because we got a call from our dispatch saying that there is some sort of Alter interaction safety. between there. Yeah. Yes, I was parked. I'm making sure there's no one in there, that's why I'm opening the door. It's not your property, it's yours. Well, I went there, so I'm going to see what I was saying. Go ahead. Saying. So, I was parked over here. You want to stand in the shade, that way we can yeah. see better? So, I was parked over here, mm -hmm. and these women start like, making a really big deal out of my parking job. Okay. And I don't think it was bad, but they said I was hitting their mirror. Okay. Wait, there's a video. Hey, I'm talking to you fine and then mm -hmm. she said i was hitting her mirror and then she opened the u-haul and then mm -hmm. she started recording me on the face mm -hmm. and i took her phone and i went inside and then she started pulling my hair the window was down i bit her hand and then she like the door opened like so much that at this point like the mirror was like it was making the contact door. with it yeah because she opened yeah, the door because she opened like fully opened the door okay that, um, yeah, I did call her wife. And then um, they kept recording me, and, they, and another person came out, a man from the library, mm -hmm. and I just pulled back, and now the door doesn't close, and the little guys came. Okay. So the initial, the initial confrontation was, started because yeah. she thought you were over the yeah, line too much? she said that I, that I was hitting her mirror, and I had okay. to take a video. Mm -hmm. I told her, that's not true, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. show how it is in truth. Mm -hmm. Then there was like two women with kids, one was standing behind the car, mm -hmm. then the one was here, so recording me and I took the phone. During the investigation, the woman's inconsistent statements piqued the interest of the officers. Her web of deceit failed to impress the authorities. Watch the footage to witness their response. So when she opened the door, you were already sitting inside the vehicle? I was inside. Okay. But like before, when I was trying to capture the way I parked, she opened the wheel hole. Okay. She and then, as, the as far as taking the phone, you were you weren't taking the phone in the sense of using it for no, your own no, property. No, 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 because, because she was pulling my hair and mm -hmm. she started recording me, so I bit her. Okay. And that's what. Like, do you have any physical injuries on you? No, but she does because I bit her. Okay. But I do have like so many different. Okay. So she pulled your hair, and yes, like she was outside when she pulled my hair. She was standing here, right? She was here. On the outside, and okay. was Because the window was open, correct? The window was open. Okay. And then from that point, you guys were arguing. Did she pull your hair before you took your phone or after you took your phone? No, she stopped pulling my hair because I took the phone. Okay. So she started recording me. Because I was ready to go. I was like, I'm not doing anything to your car. I have videos. My car job is good. Mm -hmm. As far as her pulling your hair, do you want to press charges for that? 
I'm leaving tomorrow. This is really You don't, so you don't live here? No, I don't live here. But I would like to press judgment because this is what's... Okay. I don't even know. I'm happy to do this tomorrow. Okay. And again, I can't speak for the court, so they, they might say you appear in person. Do you want to press charges for her pulling your hair? She is there. I'm not talking to you. Okay. And I'll get her yep. side of the story as well, just so it's fair yeah. from there. Yeah. So, um, and that's what we needed to see. Because they are having conflicting stories about who knows what we wear. Because in that video, she's the one that's closing distance. Yeah. That's when she takes the phone from her. She said that she's, she said she was in the car. The lady had the phone in her face while she was still seated in the car. Which, which in the video, she's standing which here. Standing. Yeah. Yeah. Closes the so distance, the grabs face. it from her by force, yeah. and then gets into it. So that is, uh, you want to step on quick? You want to put your phone over here? Yeah, let's go ahead and push your phone over here. Let's put it over here. Um, you want to turn around real quick? Let's turn back. Do you have anything on you? No, why is this happening? So you're being arrested for robbery, okay? So based off the video and other statements, witness statements, stuff like that, it's not Because you initially told me that you were sitting in the vehicle, right? When you took the phone? Yeah, when they took the phone. Okay, well the video that's on the phone and the video we have, you're standing there close distance on the female and then take it to me. Okay. So they must have been just told back to them. Can someone drive it? I'm gonna open some windows for you, get your AC going and then we'll be heading out there soon. The suspect was charged with felony robbery. In the state of New Mexico, robbery is a third degree felony. If found guilty, individuals convicted of third degree felonies face a sentence of up to three years in prison and may also be fined up to $5,000. While this woman showed the utmost violent behavior, our next individual tried to do the unthinkable when she ran from the cop. But before that, let's check out the two women who stole large amounts of items from a shop and tried to flee with them. The incident is centered around two women named Ingle Saavedra and Camila Garcia Montana. On the 21st of April, 2023, in Indian River County, Florida, the officers responded to a 911 call upon hearing news of stealing from a shop. Soon, they reached the location to investigate further. Upon hearing about the location, the officers were briefed about the situation by the shop manager. After checking their appearance from the CCTV footage, the police took instant action to apprehend them. How they managed to corner the women remains a mystery, but stay tuned for more details. One of the girls inside in her face, there's another one dressed exactly like her. Fair enough. I have a black Kia SUV. Okay. You know what they took? Clothing. Just came in and shoved it in the bags. Both of them were beat. Okay. Both bags. Both of them were full. But they didn't even check out with anything, right? They didn't pay for anything. No, they went straight for the door. Driver, pull forward to the next parking lot and turn off your engine. Driver, pull forward to the next parking lot. You want to just go ahead and make contact and Stand by. Get out? Turn off your vehicle. Turn off your vehicle. Okay. Good. All right. So, ¿de dónde ustedes vienen ahora? ¿De 
dónde vinieron ahora? Comprando. Ok, so, ¿tú tienes la licencia? ¿Tú no tienes licencia? Ok, so, uh, ¿de, de, ¿de qué tienda viniste ahora? No, pero ¿qué tienda? No, 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 Baja la ventana para que él te pueda ver. Okay, so she can't roll down that window because we made her turn off to her car. Open it. Okay. Take your seatbelt off. Okay, get up there. You want her to step out? Yeah. Okay. Sal del carro. The door. Both occupants, right? Yeah. Okay. Señora, sal del carro. Okay. Mírate. Abre la pierna. ¿Por qué está pasando esto? Ay, okay. Dios, disculpe. So, tenemos una llamada que había una ropa que. No sé, ponte, ponte un poquito para para frente. Sí. Mira, la mano no me da igual. Okay. Okay. Sí, alright. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, pon las manos así. Ah, Okay. Do you have uh, Miranda in Spanish? No. So my Spanish is going to be not exactly the proper way for Miranda. You know what I'm saying? Just hold off for a second. Just close the door. Okay. Watch your legs. Yeah. See if you can pull it up on your phone in Spanish. Go step back for me, man. ¿Tiene algo dentro de la bolsillo? ¿De qué? ¿De los bolsillos? No, no, Nada. La no, revisó. La revisó. Ok, te voy a. Si puedes, ponerte un poquito más para adelante para yo. A female officer started asking questions to both women in Spanish. 
Subsequently, the authorities proceeded to examine their essential documents and conduct a thorough search of their belongings. What startling discoveries emerged from this probe? It's a passport. Huh? This is a passport. Yeah. It was texting somebody on WhatsApp. She, they live in Miami. They're not even from here. She says that she's uh, just like cruising around up here in Indian River. Yeah. You probably went to um, so I'm going to read her, her Miranda in Spanish. I found it online. So I speak Spanish, but my Spanish is not like proper in terms of, like, you know what I'm saying? That's what else store she went to also. Okay. ¿Cuáles tiendas fueron? ¿Para qué tienda fuiste? ¿De qué tienda? Ok, tú, di, tú me dijiste que, que vinieron Andábamos de... Andábamos comprando, pero... Pero, ok, ¿comprando en dónde? Andábamos comprando, recién ya habíamos salido. Pero, ¿cuáles fueron, cuál, cuáles fueron las tiendas que, que compraste? Andaba buscando en TJ Maxx. ¿TJ Maxx? ¿TJ Maxx fue el único? Andaba eso buscando en TJ Maxx. Ah, oh, tú estabas buscando TJ sí. Maxx, pero no... No, si compré, pero más abajo venía, había comprado en un TJ Maxx. Sí. Ok, so fuiste sí. a Chile Max nada más? Sí. ¿No fuiste a otro, a otro no, no, no. tienda? Ok, so te voy, a, te voy a leer algo, ok? Este se llama el Miranda Warning. No, 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 quédate no, así. Sí. No, ok. Mírate. Ok, so... Y reclamar tu derecho de solicitar un abogado. ¿Entiendes lo que te, sí. te ha dicho? Okay. Okay. Sí. ok. Ahora déjame... Necesito yo saber qué va a pasar con el auto. Ok, so, yo te voy a explicar en, en un momento. Déjame averiguar con el señor lo que vamos a hacer. Ok? She's just worried that her. Uh, she wants to know what's going to happen in the car. Did she say what she did over at the. She said that she went to TJ Maxx. So they're from Miami, they're not from here. She originally told me that they were just up here. Um, the paseo means to like just hang out and like cruise the city. Um, and then she told me that she went to a TJ Maxx, but she never mentioned, um, what was it that they thought maybe a Burlington? Yeah. Yeah. So. ¿Tú tienes un, cuántos años tienes? 21. 21? ¿Tienes licencia, ID, un pasaporte? Mi pasaporte está en la camioneta. ¿En esa? Sí. Está al, eh, al medio de los dos asientos. Okay. Um... Her passport is in the center console in between the seats. Okay, el de para está preguntando si él lo puede buscar. Sí, sí puede. Yes, yes. Give me consent. Okay, te voy a leer algo. Y disculpa porque mi español. O sea que puedo puedo tener conversación, pero cuando tengo que leer algo así importante, no digo las cosas bien. Qué bueno que está usted. Ok, so tiene el derecho de permanecer en silencio. Solicitar un abogado. ¿Entiendes lo que te ha dicho? Sí. Ok, um, okay déjame. Por hablar. favor, mi teléfono, véalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aquí. Déjame averiguar con ellos. Ok. Those are baby calls. It's probably going to be the ones in the back seat then. Cause... What is that? The one that she was walking out with was that bag. Did they send you a video? Sent the pictures. But when we stopped, they were doing something back here. So I don't know if they were. Oh yeah. It's like Burlington Coat. Uh, yeah, tag. it's that's Burlington Coat for sure, hundred percent. Oh, you see it? Look. So there's some. Look, this is what the brochures. Look. So they took, so, oh, all of these too, yeah. So when we stopped them, I could see them fumbling around back here and they were just probably taking tags off of stuff. See, look, another tag. And they got this ripped off. <laughs> yep. Did she tell us what store that this TJ Maxx is? So she said TJ Maxx, but we saw on the, on the notes that it said Burlington Coat. It didn't say anything about TJ Maxx, right? TJ Maxx is, I think TJ Maxx is I think street. she's just saying TJ Maxx, but it was really Burlington. You ask the other female? Huh? You ask the other female? Um let me let me ask her. Let me ask him again. 
¿Cuáles fueron las tiendas que venía, de, de donde fuiste? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál de fue la, la tienda? tienda? De Burlington. De Burlington. Ok. ¿Y qué otra tienda? No. ¿Burlington fue la única? Ok. She said Burlington, and Burlington was the only store that they went to, and the other girl said. The only store that they went to was, uh, th those are all Burlington tags. Burlington? Yeah, look. Right here too. So this is what they were doing before we got in there. Because here's another. That's Burlington. Those are all Burlington. Burlington. So. Some grand theft right here. Yes. Um, that, I think this belongs to that, I'm not sure, they could probably... This is all in plain view. Burlington. Okay, so... These are all Burlington tags. That's the one right here. Does that look like kids close to you? No. No, that's not kids' clothes. Does that look like it's going to fit either of them? Uh, maybe the s smaller one. There's one that's a little smaller than the other. You want me to run them on channel two? Yeah. Probably not going to get anything back, though. Huh? Probably not going to get anything back, but you can try. So just, um... Yeah, you can run them. Name by passport? Like... Just name it, so name. Oh, And then they wrote down. Yeah, all those clothes have tags. Oh, I'll make it move, but better say the rookie did it. <laughs> I pulled her over. <laughs> Wanna go ahead and start calling for a tow or um Megan's still reviewing the video. Oh, that's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. I don't even know. I've never been in the borough, just so I couldn't tell you what their price tag is like. It's the... Uh, oh, the red tag? Yeah. The so the MSRP, like, some of these are labeled guests. Some of them are labeled Tommy Hilfiger. My help, but they all have that Burlington uh, tag with it. That's a lot of purses. They must yeah. be going to sell them down in my house. Oh, yeah. Sell them down at a flea market or whatever. Um, all the baby clothes up there. I mean, I don't know. Might be tight to get. I don't know if we got enough for seven fifty. What? Wow. Any shoes in there? I haven't seen any yet. Look, That's another bag. Right here. Oh yeah. A lot of clothes, though. A lot of clothes. Bebe, 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 is that what they are? Bebe or Bebe? <laughs> I'm not into the clothing or the fashion thing, dude. <laughs> Wonder who This is like. Go ahead. Okay. No, I'm saying. This is Caesar. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone, Lee. Hold on one second. I got federal hotel So. Same one. Go ahead. Hey, I don't want this girl to hear me. Can I hear me? No, they can't. They cannot. They're both on the national. He just he just notified me that they got federal alert lookouts on them. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. I'm done. 
Somebody on WhatsApp communicating when she got put over. She's worried about her phone. Yeah, yeah, that's why I seized that phone. Usually this is mounted to the counter. Mm -hmm. You stick it here, oh. and it just comes off. So, so they didn't use nothing to cut. Huh? They didn't use nothing to cut. Nope. In 12, I will have a second adult from outside the team. <laughs> so you want like a master level uh, insert on the DOR? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wanna. What's a five? Give me a five. Yeah, so they can get the the rest. It is. Is it? Oh, it's the thing. He's got that plate. Alright. The women were guided to their designated location by the authorities as preparations commence for the ensuing procedures. Do you need to switch Those are your cups, right? Yeah, those are mine. Once you get your cups back, grab the little uh, things in there, Juana. Get them in. Okay. Don't spread out your feet. Get the bed over. Yeah. <laughs> Engel Saavedra and Camila Garicha were both charged with grand theft and retail theft. Both were felony charges. Now we'll see someone who tried to run from the cops and misplaced confidence. You saw me come after you and you took off running and then this is where we're at now. The incident revolved around a 35-year-old man named James Clifford Santon. On the 27th of September 2023 in Pinellas Park, Florida, a thief was trying to evade the cops by running after committing a shoplifting occurrence. The police immediately started to chase him. The police were running behind James. During the event, they even advised him that his action would trigger appropriate action. Did they finally manage to catch him? Let's check out the video to find out. Quick break, down the bitch line behind the car dealership. Stop, I'm gonna release this dog! Stop, or I will release the dog! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Hands behind your back, or you're gonna get tased! Both hands behind your back! Four ninety five ten fifteen. 
we're on the side road, uh, 1015 alongside uh, the trailer park between the dealership. <clears throat> I I'm good. If I can get a unit with a cage, please. No, ma'am, it's it, I'm good for now. Okay, thank you. I, I appreciate it. You're fine. Have your weapons on you? No, sir. What's your name, boss? Probably 22 is the K9, the channel 10 Go ahead and send it to channel. We're on the side. Right, channel 10 8, Well, stomach, go on your stomach. We're on the other side. <clears throat> Roll on your side, put your knees to your chest. Stand up. Bro, stop roll the way before you hit that park. That did not sound good for your transmission. Yeah, no. Alright, sir. Is there anything on you when this one I searched you? Well, yeah, I'll search you again. You went through yeah. there, uh, The police took him to the rightful place and questioned him. The female officer reminded him of his alleged misconduct, observing keenly his demeanor and candor throughout the interrogation. Nice gentle. Hey, small way through here. Yeah. Um, so I'm Corporal Kinsler with the Pennell Park Police Department. Um, obviously you're detained for a shoplifting investigation right. and That's fleeing nice. from me. Okay. So what is your name? Uh, middle name? C. What's it for? Uh, Clifford. Clifford? Yeah. Last name, spell it. Uh, S T A N T O N. Your birthday? 7 15, 1988. You're so s. You're detained, you're in handcuffs, you're in the back of the police car. I want to ask you some questions because you are, and I need to read you your rights. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present while being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questions if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and I answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Okay. And having these rights in mind, do you wish to speak with me? Yes? Okay. Why'd you run from me? Uh, it was just an instinct. Like a dumb, stupid instinct. Huh? It was just an instinct. Dumb, dumb, stupid. You have an instinct to run from the police? Not run from the police, but... What did you call that, that? I knew that I did something wrong. Okay. And I shouldn't have ran. And but... you saw me with my lights on. And, and ran, you took and off. I, okay. I'm not lying. I'm not... What did no. you feel? Uh, it's in the book bag. It's a uh, $60... Charging port or something like that. And why we steal it? 
Uh, just lost my job recently and got a three day notice on my door. And just trying to get. What would the charger do for you? Uh, I could possibly try to bring it back. What would the charger do for you? Like, try to fraudulently return it? Possibly. I don't know. I would just. Or try to sell it to somebody to get money. <clears throat> okay. Um, how many thefts do you have? None. None? None. Have you uh, been arrested before? Uh, 2008, For 2009. What? Battery on a Leo, but it wasn't convicted. Okay. Anything else? Anything recently? No, nothing within the last 10 no. years. Okay. So, you knew did something wrong, you saw me come after you, and you took off running, and then this is where we're at now? Am I missing anything? No, ma'am. What'd you do with the charger? It's in that book bag. To explain to me how you stole. I grabbed it and put it in my book bag. Okay. And then you walked it out without paying? Yes. Okay. How do you know it's $60? You saw it on the thing? Yeah, I saw it on All right, you're going to hang out here with this guy real quick while I try to figure out what's going on, okay? All right. All right. If you just hang out for me, I can do all that. Thank you. These are his. Thank you. The female officer provided James with an overview of the forthcoming procedure. During the interaction, James disclosed a secret matter about himself, and the authorities also reacted accordingly. So you need to trespass from here, okay? Just means you can't come back to the parking lot or inside the store. Just from Thank you. So, uh, James, you're going to be going to jail today, okay, for retail theft and for resisting because you ran, okay? Honestly, and like he was saying, a possibility, um, had you not run, you would have been able to go home today with a court date. That's it. Because you have no previous arrests, right? Like no priors, like no anything crazy like that. You have a home address and you tell me, you told me the truth. Had you not ran, you'd been going home today. Okay. It's not worth it to run ever. All right. All right. So next time, I hope there's never a next time. No, I don't want to do next time. I just want to find a job. Yeah, man. There's day labor places. There are people hiring all over the place. The thing is, my ID is the problem. Have you heard of Daystar? No. If you go down to Daystar in St. Pete, they help you get an ID for free. So. I called Cooper. Okay. And he's helping him get a, a job. I told, cool. to, I told him to tell Cooper you can't get an ID. Cooper helped him get it. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, if you Google Daystar, um, then it's a place on the same thing. They can help you get whatever documents that you need help getting in order for you to work to better yourself. You know what I mean? So, so I'm gonna go to jail, uh, it's two misdemeanors. Okay. More likely you know. Yeah. Later tonight. They just have to process you in and everything. So but yeah, like just two misdemeanors. Nothing crazy. Yep. Daystar Life Center. They kind of have some crazy days though. So if you look on the calendar, like they're closed, like in the middle of the week. Are like early times and stuff. Today is only open yeah. Thursday, but um, I'll give it Officer Copeland because if you can get with him, you're going to be golden. So you already have a place to live. Well, you, he might need. He might help you out with a place to live too, since you have an eviction. But uh, coming up, so yeah, man. If you just ask for some help, we can give you some help. All right. So, um, so like I said, just two misdemeanors, no felonies or anything. Um, as soon as the van comes, I'll pick you up, take you up there, and you should be. Right. If you come back to this property, oh, yeah. you'll be arrested I'm for trespass. Go back to any wall, like, I'm just you can go to other Walmarts, no, just not, not here to go. go. Just, okay. Refrain from them all. <laughs> hey, I mean, being well aware, you know, self aware, so it's good. But, um, but yeah, all right? All right. Thank you. I'm just going to sit right here and type it a little bit. I appreciate you. James was charged with retail theft and resisting. While James was at least cooperative once he was caught, the next individual decided that throwing a temper tantrum would be a good idea. I'm not going to run. Okay, so as right now, you're going to be placed on arrest, okay? The incident is centered around a woman named Annette. 
On the 1st of April, 2023 in Flagler County, Florida, an officer was exiting a convenience store when he was approached by a woman. The woman reportedly asked the officer if it was illegal to walk around without shoes. The woman then began to ask the officer inappropriate questions. Her behavior started to raise suspicion and he decided to investigate further. The officer issued an order to Annette, which she complied with without making a scene. However, her peculiar behavior and speech prompted the officer to investigate further, leading to the discovery of some intriguing details. Suddenly, she started to act crazy despite the cop's command against it. How did the officer react to her sudden outburst? Walk. Go to the front of my car. Don't face me. Face me. Why? Now, what'd you say? I said it is against the law to kill somebody. A Save soldier's shoes. shoes. Why, would you, why would you say that? Because somebody stole my shoes. Who stole your shoe? Huh? Who stole your shoe? Um, Tanya Oxy, my brother in law. Doesn't matter. He needed more. I did. What do you want yeah. right now? Oh, please. Give me a test right now. I'm Give me a test. Oh, my God. Don't. Don't even. I'm on. I'm on psychotic. Crazy. Joe, please, test me for anything you want right what now. What do you say? Test, test, test. Oh, my God. I'm trying to find my. You approached me, right? And you're acting the way you're acting. So, I mean, look, I'm me, pretty look, 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 be, be empathetic to people that are mentally ill. I'm very mentally ill. Look up, he okay. shot me. Look, look up what I got. Look up what I got, you know what I'm saying? I'm not allowed to do anything. I need help on my I'm speaking my girlfriend and now you're embarrassing to at me. Why? No, I'm talking to you face to face right here. There's no one around. How am I embarrassing you? My girlfriend is here and she she's in heavy thing. Maybe she fell down on her. Like at night, they kick me up because have my friends come up. He's at he's on the floor, he don't matter. Like I'm crazy as always oh, crazy. But I only just some people that deserve it. You know, it's been like, what's wrong? Like, but why can I not just... Yeah, I'll stand by God. Put your first first on the phone. I still got to shoot my girlfriend on the first one. Alright, why are you saying you're crazy? Because I get crazy. Can I pick it up? Yeah, you don't need to pull out your boots. I don't know. I'm not trying to pull out my boots. I'm trying to shoot my fucking one. Okay, I can see that. What have you taken today? Are you on any? On your, you taking? You drinking any alcohol? I know. Medication? I, I had like all my diabetes medication. Yes, I did. You want to harm yourself? No. Why? 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 Dude, I was dead for fifty some minutes. I'm alive. Cause I shot three times by forty caliber. Do I want to harm us? No. I want to live. I want to live. Okay. Is that a problem? I'm asking a question. No, 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 you yeah. said, do I want to harm myself? No, yeah. I do not. Okay, that's Why would yes, I? No, 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 that's a simple yes question. question from you. Back if you're going to continue approaching me like that, you're going to go in handcuffs. Okay. You're going to come back over here. You're not going anywhere. No, you're, not going anywhere. You're, you're not free to go. You're not free to go. Stand over there. You just tell me you're handcuffed. Stand over there. No, no, no. You want me to chase you right now? Do you want me to chase you right now? Just don't tell me you're handcuffed. I've been shot. I don't like you. Come here. Turn around. You're just, you're, you're ridiculous right now, okay? Don't, don't. Do Please, not. Do back. not. Look at me, sir. Do not. I'm gonna put you on the ground. I'm gonna put you on the ground. I'm gonna put you on the ground. I beg you to put me on the ground. I beg you to put me on the ground. I'm saying, just relax. Look at me eyes. Just relax. Look at me eyes. Relax. Look at me eyes. Look at me eyes. Relax. I've been raped and shot. Don't do me. Really? Really? I said, don't put him on me. Don't, don't put him on me. Don't. Hey, oh my God, this man, this man. This man, I'm going to die to see this. Stop, your daughter sees this, man. Stop. I did nothing to you. I asked you to don't put him on your back. I asked you don't put him on your back. Don't put him on your back. Look at how he's going to lose the head on me. Stop. Get out of my head. Don't do it with me, guys. Please. Please. Cena. Ow. How's the f***ing? What? What the hell is your problem, man? You can never have my back. What? What? What's the f***ing problem? 
Where's my problem? Really look at me. Where's my problem? Really? Answer me. Where's my problem? I'm not in charge. Where are you going? Some problems now. Everything at home is getting away. Because you took them together. Throw me on my face. Oh my god. Don't hurt. Yeah, really, it's a little lighter. They don't even work. Really. I did nothing. I had a girlfriend. And now it's gonna work. Now it's a bad decision. I got nothing bad decision. Get in the car. I got nothing wrong. Get in the car. Yes. Get in the car now. Okay, don't put your. Don't. Don't, don't, don't be. Step in away. the car now. Can you step away and let me be Get in the car now or we're going to hey, force you in the car. Let your hand go and I'll get in the car. In the car. Let your hand go. Let your, your hand go. Push it out. Come. Oh, just like last time. Oh. What's your name? Tanya and my phone just got stolen probably because you're just Huh? What do you know from me right now? I need I'm your... not trying to be difficult. I'm just, I'm trying to be mentally ill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I miss you. Please have some compassion. Okay. Annette found herself in a precarious condition. Nevertheless, she persisted in her eerie nature and engaged in various inappropriate behaviors. As a result, things got worse for her. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I breathe? Which butt? Which butt? I'm Which trying to just lay down. I see. Butt? You understand? Like this setup. I shouldn't hear. Sorry. Yeah. Wait, I've got handcuffs behind me. Yeah, lean I do yoga. Lean I don't. Forward. This is hard for me to do this. Lean but, forward. I can help you out. Lean forward. Lean which way? Front or back? Towards your stomach. All right. Now scoot, scoot towards me. I can't breathe, thank you. And my answer now, I'm right. stay, uh, stay in there. I'm not gonna run. Like, okay, so as right now, you're gonna be placed under arrest, okay? Okay, good. All right, for, good, resisting, good, good. For, for resisting and battery on LEO, okay? Yeah, really? Yeah, you kick me. That's not That's not allowed, all right? I'm trying to talk to you. Look, like, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about the. I'm sorry if I did that. I apologize okay. to you. Well, that's the. No, that's you made me answer. scared. Oh, I'm, I've, been, I've been to what I go through, you All know what I'm saying? I don't care. No, you okay. didn't. No, you didn't. Okay. You put my hands on my back. It don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm saying I apologize okay. for my wrongness. What is this? It's a liar, dude. Okay, we can't take it, so I'm going to throw it away. All right, I'll take your hat, all right? Where are you taking my hat to? It's going to go to the jail. No point in property. Okay? I'm, just, I'm, I'm right. not arguing with you. Just put your foot your in. Stay sit up on your foot, okay? Don't go on your back or your stomach. Annette was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting an officer with violence. While Annette was apprehended due to her weird questions, our next individual was caught when she decided to drive around in a stolen vehicle. Stand up for me real quick. Yes. Just stand up, lift your hands behind your back for me. I can't move this arm's paralyzed. The incident is centered around a 30-year-old woman named Stephanie Torres on the 15th of March, 2023 in Orange County, Florida. The sheriff's deputies received information regarding a stolen vehicle seen driving around the area. Soon, a police officer spotted it in front of a Cricket Wireless store. Therefore, the police launched a full-fledged investigation. Upon reaching the store, the authorities checked out the place and faced Torres. Shortly after, the police officer started questioning her and discovered the shocking crime she had committed. Faced with the truth, they were compelled to uphold the law. But how did Torres react? Did she unleash a dramatic scene? Watch to discover the aftermath. Okay. Are they moving or how are they doing? We're moving in right now. All right. Let's roll. We can pull right over the median and go in there. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. All right. We're moving in right now. Two of us are coming up to the intersection right now. Is that your car? No. 
It's your friend's car? And you're driving it? Why are you driving it? I needed a ride to work today. needed a ride to work today? Step around here for me. <clears throat> Have a seat. Don't go nowhere. Stay right there. Come on. She's, uh, it's my friend's car. She needed to ride to work today. Hmm. Except it hits her every freaking day. Yeah. So, she's the only one that got in the car. Do you guys get ID from her? Yeah. Do you have ID on you, man? Do you have ID? It's in the back, in my purse. Okay. Are you hearing on all traffic at 203? All right, what's your first name? Stephanie. What's your last name? Torres. With a Z or an S? E, uh, S. S. Uh, S. Uh, you guys got your mind card on you? Yeah. Yep. Uh, just real quick, stand up for me real quick. Just stand, lace your hands behind your back for me. I can't move this arm's paralyzed. It's, it's paralyzed? But you can't move it back anyways? I can't. I can't even pick it up. Okay. But you can still do that though, right? I can grab it with this hand okay. like this. It's okay. Ever? Never been arrested? No, okay. 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 You have? Okay. okay, you take a seat. All right, I'm definitely going to sheriff's office, okay? You have the, the right to remain silent. Okay. Anything you say will be used in court as evidence against you. You are entitled to talk to an attorney now and have him present now or any time during question. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost. Okay. Do you desire to consult with an attorney first or to have one during this interview? Oh, sorry, my phone is ringing. Can you take my AirPod yeah. out? Okay. Okay, do you want me to read that last question again? Yes, please. Okay. Do you desire to consult with an attorney first or to have one during this interview? Yes or no. So if you say yes, I can't speak to you anymore. If you say no, I can talk to you. It's your choice. I've never gotten into yeah, it. No it's idea. just, you get it. It depends on whether you say yes or no. Do you want Do you want an attorney present with you while we speak, or no? Would you like to just talk to me as we are now? I have no idea what to say. I don't know. I've never been yeah. alone with the right thing yeah. to say. Well, I can't proceed until you I'm give scared. me a, <laughs> until you give me a yes or a no. So like I said, yes means you got to have an attorney with you. If you're questioning, no means you're you're willing to talk to me about why you're in cuffs right now. Okay, yes, yes to the second one, yes, no. So no, so no, you don't desire to consult with an attorney first? You're willing to talk to him. That's you're willing to talk to me yeah, without yeah, an attorney? Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. If at any time hereafter you wish to remain silent or have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped, okay? Has anyone at any time threatened you, coerced you, or promised you anything in order to induce you to make a statement to me? No. Okay, do you understand these rights? Yes. The police asked Torres how the event unfolded. She revealed some eye-raising matters at that time. Further, the cops also found out about the startling matters surrounding her. All right, what's the deal with the car? Well, I had a friend named Menon. He, he let me borrow the car while he was gone, but... Manuel? And who's Manuel? He's, well, he's kind of a crackhead that I've known for like 10 years. Okay. You know Manuel's last name? I don't even know if that's his real name. Phone okay. No, I, ha I literally, he lives in the neighborhood. Which in, neighborhood? In Old, on Old Cheney. Where Old Cheney I, and what? I live on Old Cheney uh, in uh, Semron. Old Cheney, Jim. What, what neighborhood though? What neighborhood do you live in? What do you mean? I live on Old Cheney, like in Eldridge, like by the dancers. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you, okay. Um, okay, how long have you had been in possession of the car for? I got it yesterday. Yesterday around what time? I was, wait, 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 what's today? I went the half a day yesterday, so I got to work at 2. I had it at like a, maybe 10 something. 10 a.m. or 10 p.m.? No, in the morning. 10 a.m.? Yeah, it might have okay. been earlier. And you got it from this guy? Yes. Okay, what does this guy look like? He's tall and he's Spanish and he has long hair in the, sorry, I forgot what was in cuffs. Okay. He has long, like, um, like the, you know the Spanish people, not the, not the yeah, kind like of talking about. Like that. Okay, yeah. what kind of skin tone? Like mine's. Okay, medium. Like, okay, how yeah, old is he? He's probably like my age. I'm thirty. He's probably like thirty, maybe thirty-one. Okay, and you have no idea where he lives at, though. I don't. He lives in. As far as I know, he lives everywhere. He, the last time that um, hold on, because the last time that he was living anywhere, he was living on Beach Street. Beach Street. Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. Reason why you're in cuffs, okay? That car is stolen. So, all right. Then you're last seen in the driver's seat of the vehicle. So, so yeah. So you're unfortunately you're gonna own up to that today, okay? So, all right. Is that the, is that the only time you've had the car? Is, was from yesterday? Have Have you ever been inside the car besides yesterday? Yes, yes, today? I have been inside the car once before. Okay, when was that? Uh. Few days ago. Okay. Um, yeah. Who else has been driving this car? Oh, 
Just him. Just, just him? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, don't have to, I don't even have to. Okay. So where's the car been staying at then? Well, I don't know. I've, I had it parked at my house. And you don't know where it was parked at after that? Or before that? No, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, you're gonna. Fortunately, you're gonna go to jail today for grand theft of a motor vehicle. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been arrested? Yeah. Yeah. But you, I thought you said you were arrested yes, before. I've, I've been arrested, okay. but I've never been. I've never been charged with anything. And, and, and my question was, have you ever been arrested? Yeah. Yes. Before? Yes, sir. What have you been arrested for? I was in a, a house that was foreclosed, and we all got in trouble. Everybody did. Okay. Uh, that's it. And, uh, yeah, I've never she gotten in trouble. She doesn't know the guy she had. I'll send her on old Channing somewhere. So what do I do? You, you should have known what she said. Yeah, I should have known. Yeah. So who uh, else is the employee at the store today? He's at the store. Is it Alec? Alex? Alexander. Yeah, he's, he's been blowing your cell phone. Oh, you know who it is? No, but he's been Where's blowing your cell phone. He probably knows what's up and he's not coming back here. Give what's him a call. He, what's, what's he wearing? He's wearing the orange hoodie. Is that the guy on the bicycle? Oh, right here. No, right here. Oh, there you go. He's coming back. Yeah, he's been calling you. All right. All right. He's All right. Right. I guess go deal with him real quick. And, uh, that yeah, that's the that's the employee here. Oh, the employee, not the. Uh, oh, no, not the other. Not the kid. Oh. Is he ever in the car with you today? Oh, I got you. That looks like a pudding on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? You work here? Yeah. All right, come on in. Here you, Alex. Part of it. Hello. All right, you see me one second. Come over here. Talk here, to you. Come over here. All right. So, are you the, the employee here? The other employee? All right. Go. Um, all right, so we just want to make sure somebody's still here. She's going to get arrested today, all right? So you will Sir? be taking over. No, yeah, for sure. Perfect. Uh, you know where we're here? No idea. You don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, like, she, yeah, she, she will get arrested. So we just need somebody to stay here, not we don't leave the store open. All right. She can she can explain that to you later if she wants to. We're not going to tell you. She can tell you. Uh, but yes, just, that's all we can tell you right now, okay? My normal plan is oh. I gotta call my boss. That's fine. And You're good. So, if you want to go there, it's probably uh, why, why would why would you take a car from a kid? He's been my friend for a long time. He's never done anything to like. What's so, up, man? Because like, he's been your friend though. But how do you know nothing about him? Though? I I don't know his real name. I right. think his name is Just Emmanuel. Face this deputy for me, straight your legs. Oh, right, I'm sorry. And then face the deputy to my right. You want all your there you go. Is this the key to the car? Yep. All right. Just turn around for me. Just lean against the wall. So you will have a bond, okay? It's a thousand bucks. Okay? So if you can't afford a thousand dollars, you can go through a bondsman. You're so you're required to put up ten percent, so a hundred dollars through a bondsman, okay? And uh, can they buy themselves out? Yeah, right. Sorry. They can buy themselves can out, I, right? Yeah. yeah. With a card? Uh, with a card? Uh, shh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Am, am I? Are you guys unable to unlock my card from my phone so that I? Yeah, because no, they're gonna because they're gonna let you get access to your contacts, so you have some some people to call. Okay, uh, but just realize that's what's gonna go on. What do I have to do after this? Like, what is my next step? So if you let's say you bond out, okay, uh, we're gonna get a good we're gonna get a good address, a good phone number for you. What will happen is the state attorney's office will be in contact with you. Um, you can't. Well, unfortunately, it's all you. So okay. Um, you just wait for a court. You see if the state attorney's office calls you for a court date and all that kind of good stuff. So, okay. Ma'am, we've recovered a stolen car here before. Do you remember that? I just started working here. She brought in 97. Are you sure? I just yeah, started working here. Just called back and they're coming okay. here. Which one did you guys just call? I don't even know. Before I got back? Yeah. Before I got back, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been here for like almost four months now. And then if you do have a phone call you want to make, we'll make that, okay? Yes. Not long after, she was placed in the exact place she deserved. Following a brief explanation of the forthcoming procedures, the police made preparations to depart for their designated destination. I got it. Uh, so we're having a seat in the back of this car here, okay? If you want the AC or heat on, just let me know, okay? I know it's a, been a little chilly out here today. Anything illegal in the car? No. No? Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a little bit of weed in there. Nah, I get that. But nothing else, there's no like no. fentanyl or coke or anything like that. Okay, okay. Hey, I'm just removing it out of the system. I haven't searched it yet, but. Yeah, we, I swear we had another one. Similar. They said that, they said that. Yeah. Where we recovered it and I got something to do with an employee too. Perfect time.
Yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm still rolling. So, but I figured you covered it. Yeah. Yeah. The whole time. Dude. I would have asked if there was any cameras though, because there are. Look, on the outside of the building. You got top? I do. Yeah. Do you have any tools by chance to take that tag off? Let's see if one of them have it. Yeah. The tag on that car is also stolen, by the way. The same. Wait. The tag? Mm -hmm. The tag is stolen and the car is stolen. What? I don't get it. The license plate? Oh. It doesn't go to that car. It's stolen. It's reported stolen. So you're not going to get him with that, okay? You're just going to get your, but you are going to get charged for the uh, grand, grand theft of motor vehicle, okay? Stephanie Torres was charged with petite theft and grand theft third degree motor vehicle. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.